Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Allie. I am currently pregnant with baby number two and it is our second girl. So I am doing my whole second trimester update and bump date, bump pictures, all of that. I am currently, I will be 34 weeks in a couple of days. So to start with my second trimester update, the second trimester was a lot better than the first. So far it's been a lot better than the third, but it was not that second trimester bliss that everyone talks about. I remember my first pregnancy, every trimester was just awesome. Like second was phenomenal. My third was awesome. Like I was so happy all throughout my first pregnancy. And this time I am like miserable every trimester. And I don't even get sick. Like I don't even get morning sickness or throw up or get nauseous. Well, I mean, I get nauseous, but like, <sighs> we got the Rona right after Christmas, like at the very beginning of January. And that was, I was already in my second trimester. So that sucked and we, we had colds and coughs and they lingered for a little while. So I had this really fun thing that I would gag every time I would cough and like, it just felt horrible it just was so yucky all the time um I had sciatica so bad in my right hip which is the side I always get it in I literally get sciatica from the minute I find out I'm pregnant like as soon as my body knows that I'm pregnant I start getting sciatica in my right hip um so I went to a chiropractor in my second trimester and got like a full adjustment on my back and my neck and everything and it helped for a while and I probably should have gone back um, I just never did. I went in like February-ish and I still haven't gone back. I probably need to, but I'm getting so close at this point now, like in real life, that I just feel like I can make it. Like it's not that bad anymore, but in the second trimester, my sciatica was so bad. I got such bad dry skin. You guys can't see it and I have makeup on, but my forehead was so red and scratchy and patchy and like just the weirdest dry skin my cheeks get dry normally but like my forehead had it my eyelids and then under my eyes were getting really dry um my skin was just really dry granted it was winter and also my second trimester but like i've never had super dry face skin and that happened and it's still here like it's still lingering no matter what i do super fun got hemorrhoids in my second trimester and i'm sure i'll get them after birth again like i had with my first one um so 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 tired so tired all the time like and now it's even worse in my third trimester but i just felt like in the second trimester i was so tired and it was like christmas time and then it was my husband's birthday and then i potty trained a toddler <laughs> and like a lot was happening in our life, but I was so exhausted and I still am. Um, I will put up all of the pictures that I took. I didn't take as many as I have been lately. I didn't do like every week, but I will post the bump pictures that I have. Okay, so I have 15 weeks and that's when I started um, wearing maternity clothes, like having to get shirts. That were maternity, I always wear my Lululemon Align leggings in a size six and actually in my second trimester i bumped it up to a size eight size six is not my normal size and the eights feel so much better like so much better and they're like the stretchiest comfiest leggings already so i definitely needed those and 15 weeks is when it started 16 weeks was christmasy time um not really a bump but you know still cute 20 weeks Seemed like it came so fast but also took so long because i've known since i was three weeks pregnant so it took forever but then i was like all of a sudden halfway done 23 weeks is the week that i potty trained my two-year-old um she actually turned two and a half the week that we like finished it um so that was really hard and exhausting but i'm so happy it's over baby sister still has a couple weeks till she comes and like my toddler is completely potty trained daytime nighttime everything has been for two months so that has been so nice and i'm really happy that i stuck with it and did it because i do not want to be doing that right now in my third trimester <laughs> 
uh, 25 weeks we started, oh, 23 weeks we were bumping, but 25 weeks I feel like we really started bumping. Um, and then I don't know if I'm counting 27 weeks, but I have a picture. I don't think I'll put it in, but I'll just show you guys. We were on a little vacation in Utah with, uh, we went to see my sister and go watch Disney on ice. So I was 27 weeks that day because I change on Saturday. We also uh, had a blood test at 10 weeks and then we had our, um, our ultrasound at 20 weeks. So we waited the 10 weeks before we announced. So I just wanted to make sure um, that it was girl through and through before we announced, but we finally announced. I mean, obviously I announced it in my last video if you guys didn't know, but I got these really cute cookies because we announced in February and we just did like baby girl, baby sis, it's a girl, baby love it. So that was really fun. I'm so excited. I have still no idea what the name is and we have been struggling with a name for a girl. We always struggle with girl names. We have like five boy names that if we found out we were having a boy would just be like in a row, easy peasy, any of them will work. And girl names are so hard for me. I don't know why, but we cannot. It's not even that we don't agree on names. It's just like none of them are good enough or they're just not right. Like it took us until 35 weeks with Oakland, my daughter, to figure out her name. And then as soon as we knew, it stuck. And it was like, that's her name. That's perfect. But with this baby, like we don't even have like a handful of names that like if I went into labor, I'd be like, okay, let's choose through these. Like, I I don't like any of them. Like, I, I don't, none of these are her name, which is very stressful. We actually made, we made a bracket. We made like a March Madness bracket for my family and Riley's family and a couple of our friends and had them like fill it out or we sent like polls every day of like names against each other to try to help us narrow it down. And it didn't help at all, but it was so fun to do, but it was not helpful <laughs> um i do have on here that in my second trimester i gained four to five pounds total in that um and i don't think in my first trimester i'd gained any weight yet i always lose weight in my first trimester not from throwing up just from like lack of eating because i just don't ever feel good so i'm not hungry but i'm not puking so that's good um so up until 26 weeks i think i gained it says four to five, but I want to say like, I feel like six pounds is probably more accurate. I have gained much more in my third trimester. Much, much more. I am huge. My stomach is huge. I'm not even going to show you it now because it's like not accurate. And I'll make my third trimester video and I'll show you guys, obviously. But okay, quick pause. In my last pregnancy, I did like every single day vlogs leading up to having the baby. And I really want to do that again. I don't know how realistic it is, but I really want to do it. I just have no idea when I'm going or like when to start them, which obviously is the problem. But with my first, like generally you kind of go until 40 weeks. This baby, everything's a lot different. I'm sorry, my placenta is posterior. So it's like facing my back and kind of on my side and the baby is all tummy. And so she kicks so hard and it's like my skin is stretched to the max because she's right there instead of like a soft squishy placenta so this belly is a lot different than with Oakland's this baby's always been very very low she's been very active Oakland was active but I couldn't feel it because of the placement of my placenta but I didn't know that when I was pregnant with Oakland I found out this time that the placentas were different it's like I had no idea that was even a thing so, like I said, she kicks a lot more. She's a lot lower. I've already had a baby, so I don't know if I will go any faster or if I'll still make it to 40 weeks, but I do want to do like my, um, like four days until delivery, three days until delivery. Like that was so fun for me, but I don't know if I should start doing bump dates like every two weeks if you guys would want that. Um, for my third trimester, like I said, I'm already 34 weeks. So I'd probably do one from 27 to 33 or 34. And then if you guys want it, then I can start like 34 or 35 is one week or whatever, you know. 
so let me know if you want more frequent bump dates or if you would just be okay with a whole third trimester bump date probably that's at like 35 weeks and then if i can make another one after that great but if not great i also have a nest with me coming we just got the last item that we ordered came in so we still have some stuff on our registries of like clothes or bath things or just like little things that people could get if they wanted to and like i can get them later um so our bassinet just arrived today i have my rolling rack my like little three-tier thing for nursing at night and just having with me we have diaper caddy for the the living room we have like my postpartum baskets we've got a bunch of clothes a couple blankets for her all of her binkies like i think we have everything we haven't ordered our stroller yet um but we haven't made a decision but we won't need it for a, at least like five more weeks like even if she comes early I don't plan on taking them on a walk in the first like week or so so we'll be fine with that but i do have a nest with me where we're going to set up the like bedside nursery and everything and like my three-tier cart and then i want to show you guys like my postpartum baskets my diaper caddy how i'm kind of setting up like the house and then we got her dresser too so i'm going to wash all of her clothes and blankets and like put them in the dresser organize that even though it's like my husband's office slash her nursery because she'll be in here so it won't really matter so that's either three potential videos i can try to jam them into one we'll see how it works when i'm vlogging and when i do it but nest with me either one or like two or three are coming and then let me know about the bump date oh i didn't talk about insomnia i got insomnia so bad if i got woken up which I do, I wake up two, one or two times every single night to go check on or lay with or cuddle my daughter and then like I come back to my bed, I cannot fall asleep. And if it's like past 5 a.m. or 5.45, just call it a morning for me. Like I'll just lay in bed and play on my phone or like I'll wake Riley up and we'll chat for a little bit until he falls back asleep and then I just lay in bed and on my phone or watch a show and then when she wakes up at like 8 30 then we start our day because i just like cannot fall back asleep my hips hurt my pelvic floor hurts my pelvic bone feels like it's cracking all the time like it is not going well for me so let me know if you guys had any similar symptoms or any type of like advice or help to sleep more comfortably i would love to know but that is all i have for my second trimester update a lot happened but even more has happened in my third trimester so i'm actually really excited to film that update because i feel like we bought a lot of stuff or i was like had to get like a yoga ball for relief or things like that and i'm really excited for like labor prep and like setting up the house so I'm really excited for the videos that are to come, but I did want to get my second trimester filmed and up for you guys in case anyone was curious or going through a pregnancy or just wanted to see a video from me. I don't know, but that's all I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed and please let me know about the bump dates if you want me to start doing like weekly or every two weeks as I'm getting further along like 34 and 35 then 36 37 you know or if you'd be okay with just an all third trimester video whenever I film it and then if I have more updates past whenever that gets filmed then I will make videos for those so so let me know about that and let me know if you're excited for nest with me videos because i'm so excited to film those and edit them and get them up i've watched so many nest with me videos they're like my addiction right now so thank you for watching i love you guys and i'll see you in my next one bye